Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. Funny name, huh? And uh, I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, gang stalked, covertly drugged, electrocuted, infested, infected, surveilled, tormented, tortured, made very, very ill, blacklisted, refused help, you know, thrown in jail, on and on and on. Every aspect of my life has been affected by this and <clears throat> I've been really having a very difficult time of it recently, um, mostly because of my health both psychological and physiological. Uh, we've been blessed in a way to be living with these people who are very nice and we have a lifestyle that's really not conducive to most people's nine to five because we're busy jumping around cleaning bugs or throwing up and screaming, God have mercy, and yelling at the people who are tormenting us as they come up with some new, horrible, evil, twisted word arrangements, and... Wow. She's really moving today, actually. She was like 10 minutes behind me. And the race is on to the swift. Anyway, uh, Pedro's been having a really difficult time because they torture her constantly with this voice to skull, V2K, voice of God technology. And they use a heuristic artificial intelligence vocal program to, uh, to pretend that it's, you know, 12 different characterizations iterated and and constantly accusing and belittling and abusing and confusing and but the thing I've noticed is that they frequently do not use a full sentence frequently they use a couple of words and three words four words you will leave you'll be arrested we're arresting you you're gonna die. You're gonna leave. You know, stuff like that, just over and over. It's all your fault. You should be nicer. Spend more money in the neighborhood. Blah, 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 blah. On and on and on. Change the way you look. Nobody likes you. Just constant, you know, commentary on everything. And she's angry. I don't blame her. I'm angry too. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to, like, get her somehow to at least live within the parameters of not driving the people you rent from insane. <laughs> and she's doing her very best. She's so wonderful. Our poor Max. I, I, I cry about him, like, every time I think about him. And,. And they dug up the lot that I buried him in. Or pulled all the trees out so nobody could hide there. That's what they do. But I saw that his box was still under the earth. And so the centipedes. Anyway. This poor little creature. So I was in the church yesterday uh, for some food. And I looked in the mirror across the wall. And in the fluorescent light... I realized that, you know, you couldn't see my eye is so sunken in and my face changes structure because it's so filled with fluids from these cysts or what have you that, uh, yes, yeah, the guy with the bounty, <laughs> he just stole from his job, I don't know, anyway, um, 
Life is crazy in New York. And it really frightened me. And I realized why people are so shocked or, you know, cross the street with their children to get away from me at times. It's, you know, I have to remember to smile and not look maniacal so they're not as afraid. It's, it's, and I know this will sound strange to some of you and the rest of you will understand. It seems as though the psychic connection of emotional mindset and self-talk uh, is getting stronger in me. I find that I'm I've been picking up other people's thought streams and emotions and, and and then acting like them, speaking in their vernacular and body language and emotional attitude. And it takes me a moment sometimes to find the source of this. I'm like, oh, it's that guy over there. Oh, it's those two people talking. And I find myself singing songs that people are listening to in their headphones. And, and, you know, it's, I think this has happened all my life, but just not to such a degree that it disturbed me and I didn't really know where it came from. And so I'm sort of seeing this now. I was looking at these photographs of myself that I take frequently and you know, a year or two of photographs and, and I look through them and the, the changes, I've never seen such changes and, you know, when I look in my eyes, I see this, the same thing again and again, this bewildered, frustrated, angry, hurt, confused, and deeply saddened uh, soul that, you know, it's like one eye looks like the earth and all the people and the other eye weeps. It's, I can't really explain it. I have this very artistic perception and now that my brain is shrinking and, and being re-combabulated with Morgellons and Anyway, thank you for listening, and God bless you all.